Hi and welcome to another Wiggly Wild show. So today I'm going to show you how to make slime very similar to the slime produced by one of these. I'm sorry he's not awake at the moment, he's a bit shy. This We're one. also going to make some slime that glows in UV, okay, so this is the slime we're going to make. In a similar way to my scorpion that also glows under UV light, as you can see here. Slime glows under UV light, as you can see. This slime, if you add water to it, that is tonic water, instead of regular water, and also colour it with the food colouring, you will find it will also glow under UV light. Um, so if you want a friendly, um, non-chemical based one, um, then this is a great one to make. For the first type of slime, you just need some corn flour and some water, equal amounts of each, and some food colouring, so I'm using some gel. Put that in the water, whatever colour you want, and then just add the water very slowly until, it's, until it starts being difficult to um, stir. So you'll find when this slime is under pressure, it's a solid, so it is called a non-Newtonian liquid because it acts like a solid under pressure, but a liquid when it isn't. Um, so this means you can roll it, let me get some, there we go, okay. So you can roll it into a ball, but when you stop doing anything with it, it acts like a slime. Um, so non-Newtonian liquids, great word to use specifically with your chemistry teacher or your science teacher just to scare them because they might not even know what it is. And the next slime uses detergent. Okay, so if you have an allergy to detergent, you might want to use some gloves. You don't need a pith helmet unless you're particularly clumsy like me. And um, it also uses some PVA glue like you could get at school. Your PVA glue as much as you like of slime, as much slime as you want. And then add, this one works particularly well with um, all matte bio or non-bio gel, which you can get in Aldi's um, if you're in the UK. Otherwise you can use liquid starch, um, but that's very difficult to get hold of in the UK. Um, or there's several other types of detergent, but you basically need one with starch in it. Okay, and gel form best. Add this drop by drop until it starts coming together in a kind of stringy form. This will probably be half of the amount of glue that you've added. So as you can see, that one's starting to come together. Okay. Just before it comes together is the right point to add your colouring if you want to add a colouring. I'm using um, UV reactive um, paint, but like I said before, you can use anything that reacts to UV. So that could be tonic water, it could be um, anything that says UV reactive on it. And then keep stirring, and what you are doing is you are reforming the polymers. So the polymers are currently short chains in the PVA, and you are making them into um, you're breaking them up and making them into longer chains. Okay, so that means you'll be able to stretch it. So basically, the more you work with this, the more um, the chains form and they can get really, really long. Um, so that's the basic slime that you can make. And you can make it harder or more gooey, depending on how much of the um, laundry detergent that you put in. Thank you for joining us for our chemistry special for the Wiggly Wild show. And if you want more of this, then sign up for one of our Wild About Science workshops um, for the Wiggly Wild show, or just get us in to see the bugs themselves that produce all of this without any help from us. Thanks a lot. Bye.